Okay, good morning, guys. Today we are going to continue with the topic of the flowers. Last class, we saw some interesting flowers and some of their characteristics and what they represent. Today, we are going to see a little bit deeper this amazing world of the plants, okay? So here we go. I'm going to share this page with you. Okay, this is the one I want to work today. Okay, here you can see different different kinds of of, of flowers, different kinds of flowers. Uh, most of them are really amazing, really beautiful. You can see this one, this uh, white one with its petals, one, two, three, four, five, and six petals. They are all of white color. This is called Saint Bernard's Lily. Saint Bernard's Lily, the Lilio de San Bernardo. Saint Bernard Lily. Uh, this amazing yellow, yellow flower, Bermuda uh, Buttercup. This is Bermuda Buttercup. Remember, Saint, Ber Saint Bernard's Lily. Saint Bernard's Lily es el nombre. Estos que estoy diciendo son los nombres de estas plantas, de esas flores, perdón. Saint Bernard's Lily, Bermuda Buttercup, Bermuda Buttercup. Uh, oleander, this is oleander. You see, this is like a like a twist, like a, like a twister or something like that. You see, this uh, the the shape, the form of the, of the plant, the, of the flower is really amazing. This is this one is a white flower, a yellow flower, and a white also a white flower. Saint Bermuda's lily, Bermuda buttercup, oleander. This one, this one in Colombia, in Colombia, eh, some people call this flower uh, sanguinaria. Yes, but yeah, as you can see, the the original name is lantana, lantanas. These are lantanas. They are small, small flowers, but the bush that produces them is 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 big. It's around two two meters tall. Lantana, lantana. Scarlet pimpernel, scarlet pimpernel. You see, this is an amazing color. This one has a lot of colors. You can you can find them purple, red, orange, um, yellow, red. Ready, reddish, and this one is this is scarlet pimpernel. Uh, you can see mm, the colors is kind of kind of blue, light blue, aqua, a uh, purple, a uh, yellow. It has a lot of different colors. It's an amazing plant, scarlet pimpernel. This one is the verbascum, verbascum, um, ber, yeah, ber, verbascum. It's a yellow. It's a yellow flower. Is an amazing one with this um, this really really strong color. You see the colors are really strong, yellow. Um, this one, this one is the common mellow. Common mellow. It has a purple and light purple and dark purple and and some some white on it. It's, it's a amazing flower too. This one is this. Spanish oyster, Spanish oyster is, um, is, is yellow and it has a lot of petals. You see this, the petals, this one, two, three, a lot of petals. This is the stork's bill, stork's bill. This is a beautiful flower too and with an amazing purple color. So let's go back. Remember, this is Saint's Bermuda lily, Saint's Bermuda lily, Bermuda buttercup. Oleander, uh, excuse me, Lantana, Lantana, Scarlet Pimpernel, Scarlet Pimpernel, Vervascum, Ber um, Common Mallow, Spanish Oyster, Storksville, 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 and this one is a uh, Bind Whip. Bind whip. This is this is really really beautiful. You see the the, the shape of this uh, flower is amazing. The bind whip, bind whip, and the blue gem. 
This is a blue gem, la gema azul, or there's a blue gem, but uh, the color is kind of purple and white. And the calla lily that we saw uh, the last class in the, in the video that I sent uh, before, yes? So this is the calla lily, calla lily and the blue gem and the bent web, okay? Now, we are going to, to see uh oh what happened i had some more information here but i don't know what happened here flower okay let me show you let me let me go back a little bit take it easy okay here it is here it is flowers facts this is the structure of flowers but we are not going to to see that deeply because the class is not, a, no, is, is not about, okay. Pollination, pollination, polinización. Resulta niños que las plantas se reproducen por un proceso que llama polinización. Ellas producen como unos, un polvito, unas esporas, y ese polvito viaja de algunas maneras eh, muy asombrosas y eh, fertiliza, digamos, las plantas, hace que sean fértiles y que puedan reproducirse. O sea, para que haya más plánticas, ellas producen como un polvito que se llama polen, Y este viaja a otras eh, flores o a otras plantas de manera tal que se puedan reproducir. Vamos a mirar cuáles son esos, esos, algunos de esos procesos. Pollination, polinización, cómo se reproducen las flores. Pollination. So the first, the first image that you can see here is a bee. Yeah, this is a bee. And grains of pollen sticking to this bee will be transferred to the next flower it visits. One more time, grains of pollen sticking to this bee will be transferred to the next flower it visits. Los granos de polen que se le pegan a las paticas de esta abeja serán transferidos a la próxima flor que visite. And that is one of the, the ways of pollination, the, one of the most, the, the most common ways. That's why bees are so important for human life and for the life itself. Las abejas, las abejas son muy importantes para la vida humana, la vida misma, porque ellas ayudan a reproducir las plantas. Y si las plantas producen alimento para otros animales que nosotros consumimos y para nosotros mismos. Por eso hay que cuidar las abejas y no hay que maltratarlas, ni matar las abejitas, ni usar venenos cerca donde ellas viven. Eh, we have to protect them. We have to take care of, of these because bees are the future of the humankind. Okay, so remember, grains of pollen sticking to this bee will be transferred to the next flower it visits. Um, the next one, uh, let me show you, attraction methods. Attraction methods, excuse me, attraction methods. We have here, is an orchid. Is an orchid, maybe, oh, yes, it's a flower. It's an orchid, and a bee orchid has evolve over many generations to be to to better mimic a female bee to attract male bees as pollinators so a bee orchid has evolved over many generations to better mimic a female bee to attract male bees as pollinators ¿Qué quiere decir todo eso? que una orquídea abeja así se llama ha evolucionado a través de muchas generaciones para mimetizarse o sea como disfrazarse de abeja hembra, de una abejita, una abeja hembra, una abeja, digamos una abeja mujer, para atraer a los a, a los a las abejas macho para que la polinicen, o sea, es, es, es como una abeja bien bonita para que llegue el, 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 el abejo, para que llegue la abeja eh, macho y eh, se reproduzca, una conquista, ¿no? es una flor que imita a una abeja, es muy, muy interesante. A bee orchid has evolved over many generations to better mimic a female bee to attract male bees as pollinators. Excellent. Remember that flowers can move. Okay. So this is kind of the, of the part of the, the, the pollination process. Anthers, uh, detached from a middle of foxtail flower. Entonces, miren, estos son ya las anteras. Son unos granitos ahí. Y ahí hay polen, ¿no? Entonces, se han sacado de la planta o de la flor. Anthers, miren esto aquí. A grass flower head, a grass flower head, miren esto es de pasto, esto es la cabeza 
de una flor de pasto. Pasto también produce flores para reproducirse. Across flower head. Showing the plain color flowers with large anthers. Largas anteras aquí. Ok. So, those are the, the, the methods. And flower pollinator relationships. Flower pollinator relationships. If you see here, if you can see here, there is an insect. It's a butterfly. Miren la, la mariposa ahí. It's a butterfly on the plant. A butterfly and a bee with three kinds of flowers. Miren, aquí está la abejita, miren. Aquí hay una abeja. There is a bee on the, on the flower and there is a, butter, a butterfly on the flower as well. So a butterfly and a bee with three kinds of flowers. Ellos llegan, se, se posan ahí en las paticas, quedan mm, juntos los... los eh, el polen y ellas viajan y lo llevan a otros lugares. Okay, so butterfly and a bee with the three kinds of flowers, miren. Entonces ahí pasan de una flor a la otra y ahí están haciendo el proceso de polinizar para que ellas se reproduzcan. Ok, the pollination process. As decoration, flowers, the flowers can be used as decoration. Miren esa flor tan magnífica. This amazing flower is, is a beautiful one and they are used for decoration. Decoration in houses, in, in flats and in apartments. Okay. Yeah. As food, miren. La, eh, flores que son comida, cauliflower, the cauliflower, it's a, an eatable flower, es una flor comestible, cauliflower, yeah. and a special meanings, for example, puppies are often worn on Remembrance Day and a few days before, so these, these flowers are used for special occasions, puppies are often worn on Remembrance Day and a few days before, Okay. okay, so here we have uh, different kinds of flowers. Flowers, you see? Flowers. Many kinds of different flowers. Beautiful flowers. Red, purple, white, purple and white, orange, yellow. Yeah, okay. So that was, uh, um, uh, flowers are, also part of the economy of some countries. I mean, some part of the economy of algunos países. Okay, my friends, this uh, was the video about flowers for today that I wanted to show you to continue with this topic that is really interesting and is about flowers and their characteristics, um, their meaning in, in some ways, okay? So thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, take care of yourselves.